Hey guys, welcome back to another watch review. Today's gonna be over a pretty cool watch. Um, for the people that know what the style is, then you'll know that uh, this has a kind of quirky, cool uh, history behind it. Um, so this is a Pagani design watch. Uh, it's a homage of the Rolex Explorer 2 1655. Um, so the Explorer 2 debuted in 1971. Um, it was a watch originally made for um, Spelunkers, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, also known as Cave Explorers. So uh, Rolex designed this watch because uh, Cave Explorers would be in caves for days at a time so they wouldn't know uh, night from day. Um, and most watches have only a 12 hour um, time format uh, on their dial. Well, this is a little different. So this is a GMT style um, watch, but right here, like where the 12 o'clock marker is, right next to it is technically the one o'clock marker on this dial. Where the two o'clock marker, I know this is kind of confusing, the two o'clock marker on this dial is usually the one o'clock marker on like majority of watches out there. So the reason why they do this, they have 24 hour markers and that is to show um, the time differences as far as like 12 in the afternoon to 12 in the morning. So they have 24 different uh, markers for that. Um, the second hour hand so um, that would be for a second time zone. And on GMTs, you can also do uh, up to three time zones. And now most GMTs do have a rotate and bezel. This has a fixed bezel. And this is because Rolex wanted a more rugged watch. Um, so the watch came with the sapphire crystal like this one has. Um, and it also came with a bezel that didn't rotate. So when you're exploring the caves, it's not just breaking off. So, um, I thought that was kind of cool little history on the Explorer. Um, you don't really see watches like that anymore. I mean, I think this is a pretty original design from Rolex. Um, this one in particular um, has a nickname of the Steve McQueen uh, Explorer. It's just kind of funny because Steve McQueen um, has never been photographed with this watch on. He's been photographed with uh, another Rolex, uh, Rolex Submariner, and a Tag Heuer Monaco 1133, but never with the Explorer 2. So how this came about, I don't know. A lot of people from what I've read, it just came out of the blue. Someone just said, hey, you know what? We're just gonna stamp Steve McQueen and call it a day. Apparently, uh, even like catalogs have this uh, watch under the Steve McQueen Explorer 2, which, like I said, I think, it, think it's kind of interesting that there's no there's no photographs or videos with him uh, wearing this watch, um, and I can't find any audio or anything, any interview of him even speaking about this watch, but sure enough, it is called the Steve McQueen, so... I'm going to uh, move forward to all the specs and stuff like that. Uh, this, that was just a quick rundown on like the history uh, and story behind this watch, which I thought was kind of fun. Okay, so as far as the basic information goes on this watch, uh, the brand is Pagani Design. Um, the model name is PD1693, and it's a homage of the Rolex Explorer II Steve McQueen 1655. The movement is a DG5833A. Uh, the style of watch is a GMT style watch. Um, the water resistance is 200 meters. Um, and the weight is actually 150 grams. Now on to the case dimensions. Uh, the case diameter is 42 millimeters. The case diameter with a crown is 47 millimeters. The thickness of this watch is 13 millimeters, um, and the thickness with the Cyclops right above the date indicator right there is 15 millimeters. And the lug to lug is um, at 50 millimeters. 
So dial info. So the display is a analog display. The color is um, silver and orange. Uh, so there's three different color options for this particular model. There's a silver and orange, like the one that you're seeing now, a silver and white, and a silver and black. Um, so the silver and black looks very similar, except the hour markers are white, or you can say it's silver, um, where this one is orange, and Pagani Design did that to kind of emulate a vintage style Explorer 2. If you see some of the uh, vintage Explorer 2 uh, 1655s, you'll see that uh, the hour markers have turned um, yellow or orange due to a patina over time. You know, these watches are, you know, 45, 50 years old, so that does happen. Um, so I thought that was kind of a cool touch that Pagani Design did. Um, as far as the crown, it is a screw down crown uh, with some crown guards. Um, the crystal is a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Uh, the case back is a solid case back uh, with the logo and a printed picture on it. Uh, the features of this watch, um, I guess you can say would be um, second uh, hour hand, which is that orange arrow, uh, the Mercedes hour hand, um, the date indicator, and the Cyclops. Uh, the bezel is a fixed bezel, it's not a rotating bezel like you usually see on GMTs. Um, and as far as the bracelet info, uh, we have a lug width of 20 millimeters, a length of 25 centimeters. The material is 316L stainless steel. The class is a push button safety class with a Pagani, De Pagani design logo. Um, the links are uh, brushed stainless steel and the pins are actually screw down pins, which is actually pretty cool uh, for this watch, especially in this uh, budget. So it's kind of cool to get something like that with the watch. Anyway, guys, so um, that's pretty much the rundown on this watch. Um, I thought this watch, I'm kind of a sucker for... <laughs> Anything with like any type of vintage um, actor or personality um, tagged on to a product, especially a watch. So when I saw Steve McQueen, um, I just thought it was kind of cool to have that um, kind of tied to the watch, even though um, with a little bit of research, you'll know that he did not wear this watch. But besides that, I didn't get it necessarily just for that. Um, I did get it for the dial. I think the dial is pretty unique. Um, I do like that vintage patina look. Um, I'm probably gonna just wear it on this stainless steel bracelet. I'm sure this watch is probably a pretty good strap watch. And you can put different um, styles of straps on it, but I don't know, for me, I kinda like that vintage look of just keeping the stainless steel bracelet. Um, but yeah, I like the Steve McQueen just because I'm a huge racing fan. And you know, he's known for uh, racing, especially with the Mustang, um, and one of his most popular movies. So, you know, I'm kind of a sucker for little tidbits like that. Um, but yeah, so just to make sure that y'all know, Steve McQueen has never been photographed with this watch. Doesn't mean he's... He hasn't ever worn this watch, it just hasn't been photographed. So I just thought that was a fun, quirky um, little tidbit behind this watch is someone randomly named this to Steve McQueen even though there's like no documentation or anything out there with him um, wearing this watch. So I thought that was kind of fun. Anyway guys, so I'm at around 86, 90 subscribers. Uh, if I can hit 100, by the end of the month that'd be kind of cool and then by the end of the year maybe 200 i mean that'd be a goal i'm gonna try to you know uh upload one watch review a week you know i only have so many watches too so i have to also uh you know reconsider just getting more watches just so i can be consistent with this but anyway guys so like always 
like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions on the watch or anything else or any other reviews I've done, just leave it down below in the comment section. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.